Hey everyone, Ethan with Hey Buck Outdoors here today with another video. We are going to be going over the GeForce Arms GF3T. It's a budget uh, Turkish home defense shotgun, I'd say. Uh, let's get into it, but before we do, if you have not already subscribed, please do that for me. Like, share, comment helps promote the channel and the algorithms, and I would really appreciate that. All right, so a little bit about the shotgun. Like I said, it is made by GeForce Arms. I have used some of their stuff in the past. Never really had any issues. I did have one major issue with this shotgun. It would not load into the tube. It had an extra little lip there that I needed to take a file and go in and clean that out. So if you are gonna be purchasing, I have heard that is a continuing issue. Just get a little file and clean off that extra lip or that edge, and you should be able to fit your shells in there. It does have a two and three quarter or a three inch chamber. You have these uh, this nice little front sight post, little fiber optic thing up there, and then you have a little pick piece of pick rail back here. You have an iron sight, but you can obviously put a red dot or whatever you'd want. Full stock, synthetic and steel, not too bad. Feels decent quality. I'm not a big fan of how cheap that stock feels though. Uh, safety's down here, similar to that of a Remington 870. The pick rail's nice, it's mounted on there pretty good, so if you did wanna, say, put a scope on this and use it for slug hunting, you could definitely do that. All right, let's uh, take a few shots and see how she does. Our first load is gonna be some Winchester Super X high velocity steel shot, number four. This is really good for upland bird hunting, or not upland, Jesus. Uh, Geese and ducks, really. I'm not a big duck hunter, so I wouldn't know too much about it. All my duck hunters sound off in the comments and roast me for calling that upland, an upland bird. Mode. We're gonna take a few shots with that, and then we're gonna move on to some buckshot and some slugs. All right, let's see if I can finally get her to load. I should be able to. Ooh, got one in there. There's two. I'm not exactly sure how many it holds. I got this as a late Christmas gift. So, there's four, I believe, unless I forgot how to count. Yep, looks like she holds four, plus one of the pipe. All right, let's get into it. These do have some pretty significant recoil, so I'm gonna have to brace myself here. Alright, let's move on. Oh, I got one more. Okay, y'all. So, what we have next, I have uh, some herders, double lot and buckshot, nine pellet, moving at 1325. I'm going to face you towards the target, and I'm going to see if I can pattern it on there. We're sitting at about 30 yards, so it is a little bit far for typical home defense range, but I'm interested to see what a 20-inch barrel will do. Gonna load up five and uh, point you guys towards the target. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, I have four rounds of double lot and then I found a number four laying around. So I'm gonna try that first, I believe. And then we're gonna move on to the double lot. I will say too, this uh, spring, this tube spring, for the shotgun is really, really stiff. So keep that in mind. Let's see if I can hit a good broad side of a barn here. We got some pretty hairy tail numbers. Oh well, put them in the clips. <clears throat> okay, so impact. Okay. Dancing all around. Okay, so I aimed high center there and I think I clipped the bottom. So I think it is shooting a little bit low. Man, I will say those double odd have some kick. Moving on. So the good news is it's been able to handle everything I've thrown at it here today. I will say those uh, herders double odd, they are not the hottest uh, buckshot out there, but definitely have some punch behind it. I would say it's almost as much as that uh, Winchester Super X number four shot. For whatever reason, those things kick like a mule. Uh, real qu quick note, it is heating up pretty good, but then again, those 
were five shots in pretty rapid succession. Um, I would say if you're going to be out shooting this thing all day long, you might want to take a break every 10 to 15 to maybe, okay, let's say 25 rounds of normal box ammunition because uh, that's going to get pretty hot on you. You don't want to warp this polymer. I don't know how good of a quality it is. So we're going to move on to some of this federal 3-inch 12-gauge slugs. Um, I have never fired this stuff out of this gun before or out of any gun. Um, I found this in a, in a little shop when I was down in southern Missouri the other day and they had a decent price on it so I picked it up. We're going to start with two and see if I can figure out where it's hitting and then if I, I like what she's doing we'll go for another one. One of two. Make sure I put my darn ears in this time. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. That kicks like a freaking mule. Oh my goodness, guys. Yeah, I probably wouldn't use those for home defense or in a shotgun like this at all. Um, it is rated for it, so you can. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a trigger jerk and SOB with this thing, so I don't think I'm going to even hit that target. It's a six inch gong sitting there at about 35 yards. Yeah, that's probably enough of that. All right, let's head back home and finish up the. Just a quick size comparison for y'all. Those are the three inch I just shot. It's a one and a quarter ounce slug, and I'll tell you what. It definitely has some power, and that's the number fours I was shooting earlier. As you can see, that's got so much more powder on it than even the slug does, so definitely that kicks pretty good. But man, if you're going to shoot something like this, I would get you a nice, heavy, old-school wooden steel shotgun, because man, that's going to put a hurting on my shoulder tomorrow. Hey everyone, and welcome back. So we are at the house now. I'm going to give some final thoughts on the performance of the shotgun, give some specs. Uh, this is the G4 arms a gf3t again it retails for between 150 and 250 from all the indications i can find online it does have a 20 inch barrel a four shot tube which is kind of unfortunate i hope hopefully g-force decides to come out with a tube extension extend it all the way out here to get you five or six that would be amazing uh, i think something with uh tactical shotguns they really need to be able to hold uh, more capacity than a standard sporting shotgun i think that's what you know sets them apart from uh, just an everyday shotgun. So I'm gonna give you some of the pros and cons about it. Um, pros, I'm a big fan of this pick and tinny rail. It is sliding off, it's a little bit loose. It is, uh, it looks to be on a weaver mount, so you can definitely tighten that up. I'm gonna have to do that after the video. I was shooting those Magnum slugs as you saw. Um, if you wanna do that, go ahead. Uh, this thing is patterning a little bit low, but also I forgot to keep in mind that the front sight block is about an inch, inch and a half above uh, the barrel itself, so it's gonna cause some issues. Uh, so con some cons, the front pump here, the grip, is uh, it feels a little bit plasticky and kind of loose. Not too, too bad. It didn't really loosen up on me at all uh, during the, the range video. But uh, we do have a slight piece of pick rail up here if you wanna put a light or a grip. Probably light, it's a little bit far forward for a grip. Um, I am a big fan of this pistol grip, it's nice and groovy you do have these finger grooves here so you can rest there um, the stock has a decent recoil pad just don't be shooting three inch magnums and uh, you re won't really have an issue the stock does feel kind of plasticky it is hollow um, I wish they could change that I think G-Force does have a Remington 870 adapter now I don't know if that would fit on this particular model but I could definitely check on that the rear sights fine it does loosen up a bit so I'd put some Loctite on there if you plan on keeping this but you do have that pick rail, so if you want to shoot it with a uh, red dot or a holographic or whatever. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, I don't know if this is going to be my main home shotgun, but definitely I'm excited to use it some more and see how it does. Um, overall, I'd say it's pretty good. A, a big drawback, though, for me is going to be how I had to go in there with the file into the tube here because it literally would not load shells, not even basic birdshot. So I had to go in there with the file and shave off this little edge that was a little bit uh, 
the to tolerances were too much. So it wasn't allowing the crimp on those shells to get in. And this is really inconvenient. You really shouldn't have to do that getting a gun out of the box. But uh, oh well, I was able to fix it. And just keep that in mind. If you guys would like to see a video on how to do that, let me know. Um, but overall, I think this is a great little home defense shotgun, especially if you're in if your budget's only 300 bucks, you get this and a few boxes of shells and you're good to go. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning into the channel again. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Like, share, and comment. It really helps promote the channel and the algorithms, and I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please have a fantastic day.